one owner car guy one owner car guy .com, and I got my safety glasses and stuff well actually they're my neo style actual Elvis glasses that aren't really for this type of thing but it's all I got and some glasses are a very good thing to have when buffing it's our 72 Centurion that we're gonna be buffing out it's all washed wheels and tires are done degreasers done under the hoods done and we've clay barred it and hopefully you've caught some of them videos hopefully I can pop a couple links up in here for you and I've got my DeWalt buffer and you know I've got kind of a halfway dialogue for these things when I start out and what I do is a two-stage process and last time if you noticed um, I had these in bags and basically what I want to show you is this is your see that that's all the, the compound from last time but that's the ground you don't want to touch that last time I went like this and we're like oh my god so this time check it out I'll just rub it around on there a bit so what's the point of that you'd never let a wool pad touch the ground no you really shouldn't um, but it's inevitable it's gonna happen that's just the way it is you're detailing and you know you're not gonna always have the most optimum settings I'm gonna try and set this back a little here and show you now I'm gonna rub it out and honestly rubbing it out should get most of everything I just kind of lightly put on it off of it um, at the same time I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just turn your speed up 3,000 3,000 and really dig that sucker in there you should actually have compound all over the wrench you use like that and use this in too ah oh, it's warm too dig that sucker in Sorry, but I don't care if I went ahead and buffed that concrete a little bit, it's going to come off there. And that's my point, and the point of all this is nothing is the end of the world on this. If it's really bad, you could wet it up, but that's just as smooth as it gets, and there's not going to be no sand in there or stuff. Turn that thing back down to, you know, 15 to 1800 for this, but I do a two stage. And this here is your surface. Now I'm starting with a totally, and I, I custom make what we put on here. It's a mixture of stuff. And so there's not really any way for me to tell you exactly what to use. 3M makes a great product. Um, it's a three stage product. It's a um, compound, a finesse, and a hand glaze. And that's one way to do it. It'd probably cost you 90 to 120 bucks for the set. Probably do a couple cars though. Um, so, you'll get hell about every way you do anything on here on YouTube. I'll get trolls saying, this is that, you did this wrong, whatever. This car has a lot of chrome and aluminum and stainless or whatever trim on it. And as you can see, there's already some compound or something on there from just over time. And you're going to want to stay away from it as much as you can. If you want to be absolutely just tidy, tidy, tidy about it and stuff, you could go ahead and tape it off with a tape and use masking tape to tape it all off. And that's one very good tip and one very good thing to keep your car just clean as can be. And if you're dealing with like a Ferrari or a nice new RX 27 or I don't know, some kind of $50,000 car or a R8, I think that's what the new Nissan is or something. You're dealing with something like that, you might tape off your trim and stuff. If you've seen what I started with here, you're not taping it off. You're not worried. Everybody will tell you a different amount of compound to use. That's too much. That's not enough. Do it like this. Do it like that. Well, we're going to bring this tripod over here and hopefully this will all work out. Now, getting it in your seams is not cool. Well, you're going to get it in your seams a little bit on this. You can get it all over my shirt. And you name it. Now, how much compound to use? Well, not too much. And that's a lot right there. But it's also my first little step here and you're gonna wanna wet your wheel up just a little bit. Now I'm sorry I'm showing you the wrong things here. Just getting started and getting a process for this and putting my camera on this tripod is a new deal for me while holding a buffer. So, you'll have to excuse things just a little bit here as I get kind of set up for you. I like it. 
I think I like it. So, that's what you're dealing with. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And it's off to this. Like, you know, I've got that all cleaned up, got it smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly rub that around. And get as much on it as you can. You know, honestly, I've soaked most of it up. And the amount you use is going to depend on your surface too. This is not the most optimum of surfaces. So you're going to get a little splash around this stuff because you're just using more wax. Little things like keeping your cord out of the way are nifty and handy. You can throw it up over your shoulder very easily. Okay, as you can see here, we got plenty of red paint on our buffer. And I don't know if this is a single stage, uh, clear coat, base coat, which is, honestly, I think it's a single stage. But this is our first buffing with it, and I'll have to hit it up in some areas. As you wipe it off, you'll see what you're dealing with. And out there a ways, I'm gonna hit it up a little more. Um, and we'll get it just a little smoother. That's your general consensus here for it and your instruction. And I didn't get out into this piece enough. I just kind of got along that edge. But you can see it's definitely shining up and a little bit more. Sometimes you might even have to do it twice to give it what you're looking for. But you can definitely see it coming along. I do not expect this paint to be 100%. I don't expect to go, wow! I just expect a nice original look and stuff. And I haven't done the front yet, but you can see it's kinda quite a bit shinier. And we're gonna go ahead and actually kinda tie that in a little better, get this a little more. You can even see on here where it sat on there. Um, with a paint like this, um, I love when I get the real professional detailers come in and tell you how much product to put on a old car like this. And they might be really good at doing their Murcielagos that somebody pays them to do or something. Or more likely the Hyundai Excels that somebody pays them to do. Excels? That's how old you are? Really? More like a Elantra or something. But anyways, 
with a paint that's this open and porous and just old, sun faded. You can really get some good look out of it, but it's gonna take a couple stabs at it sometimes. And you can literally see, I don't know if you'd be able to see in the video, but where I put the wax when I squeezed it on there. And it's because it'll soak it up into the paint, give you a different view there. It'll actually soak it in. And that's why you're gonna wanna use a lot of wax, or not wax, it's a, more of a rubbing compound on this, is to kind of get your best result out of it. So that's that. We're gonna pop this in and get a little bit more done on this end here. And then I'll clip a couple videos together. Buffing, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. God, that's looking good. We'll talk to you in a minute. I'm gonna do one more section here and just do it again. And I'm running a cord around that thing. That's what I'm doing. Whoa, and I just kicked it over. Good thing this ain't. There we go. I'm gonna get just one more area here and kind of show you what I mean. And when you're doing this, honestly, it's very easy to work in small sections. Um, you can see I did a bigger section there. And what you're going to want to do is split it up into like little sixth sections like this. This is exactly what you want. Just a nice finish on a small section, keeping it wetted up. And this is not ever going to be a perfect finish, but I'm sure you could tell that's just a little bit nicer. And you can see where it's hazier here. Um, so, that's that. Um, a lot of the lines came out, and I'm just gonna keep it wetted up, keep going. You can really tell the difference in this paint. And wait till you see the whole finished product. You'll be amazed! God, it's even looking a little bit more darker, too. That looks good! Well, one owner car guy, and we got the rest of this thing done, and as you can see, it is definitely a lot shinier. Now this is just a second, a first stage, and Matt is actually gonna change out the buffer and stuff while we're talking here. And I'll give you a second stage on the hood on that same part. Um, rather than do the whole car once, we're gonna do the whole car twice, I guess, just to show you this half and half thing. Um, also, our second stage is a bit different as you can see there. Um, and he's got the proper thing to change out here. Same deal on, um, like I should always at least run the round end over these foams. Um, you dig into it too much with a spur or the open end of a socket. Flip, flip, flip. And it's going to rip the foam all up. But get that thing centered nice and neat. And then definitely use your it's over there. Round in at least to clean it up a bit and knock the dust off. And like I said, you dig in too much on this one and you're gonna tear the foam right up. So I'll just kind of make it more pliable. I'm gonna squirt this on while he's heading this way, just to where you can see. It's just a little bit different color, grit, the whole thing. And it's a whole different way that this is gonna happen. And we're experimenting with a couple different ways of making these videos. And I'm not exactly sure. In the end, what the best way will be. Now, like I say, no matter what, this is going to be a pretty dry paint. Um, our paint is not going to be perfect when we're done. Um, there's still going to be some areas you can see in there. God, it's hard to see them though. But you can definitely see how that... I can see it. I hope you can in the lens. It definitely adds that last 
little bit of a different shine to it right in that area. So he's gonna hit that up a little bit and I'll just kinda film it to where you can see it as it goes down. And you'll notice you don't have his buffer flat on these kind of areas. You're going to use the edge just a little bit more. Experience will kind of help you a bit, but then come back over it flat like he just did there a bit, and it'll kind of give you a really, really smooth surface. Um, but I'm just going to show you as he does the front, this one little patch, and... And we have came unplugged which will happen to you a few times during this process, guaranteed. Part of it. And yes, if you look at the other side, like this. Versus, this is what we had. And we'll do a little bit of this flat area for you. Don't know how much of it I'll keep filming, but and you'll notice he's not using as much product now. And on this second stage, you know you've got it sealed up a good part way. And you notice how he's keeping it a lot flatter now. It'll give you less uneven spots or dry spots, the flatter you can keep it. And I'm sure everybody or somebody else has a different technique. And uh, hey, more power to you. This works for me and I get great results from it. The color is good. And having that nice cloth there to wipe it down and everything. On the last time we just showed a little bit, like a little corner. This time we're showing a little bit more. You can see it'll throw some dust over it, but man, it's smooth now. I'm seeing the ridges in the, actually, the ridges in the top part there is reflecting. Pretty nice. Well, I'm going to clip this off and leave you with what we've done here. OneOwnerCarGuy.com for all sorts of classic Euro muscle cars. This one will be up pretty soon. 72 Centurion. Wow. That is just looking sweet. God, I love doing this. I want to kick him off that buffer right now and just get going on it. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuide.com. And so you know the people you see around here, you'll see Trent a lot. You've seen him over the last few weeks. Um, Samantha you'll see time to time. And she's actually went back to Montana for a while. And this is Matt from Montana. You've heard him on the video end of things a bit and doing a lot of the annotations and everything and probably actually he does some of the videos also and a lot of the puppy videos in Montana and ones that I'm not around. And that's pretty much everybody. Anybody else is uh, Dave Winfield designated hitters around here. They come in every once in a while maybe. But that's that. Thanks for watching. Couldn't even see that ding before and you'll see it when I come back here. Just couldn't even see it before because it was all different kind of thing. Man, that's beautiful. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm going to get a quick picture for you. Perfect. Is it for you or for me? I don't know. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. BeaglesPocket.com. Check it out. One Owner Car Guy, and I'm back with you. And this is what we came up with here. Uh, Matt just second stage the car. And it's in great shape. You can see the paint's just beautiful. Um, you got some dry spots and everything. Hopefully you can see that. The sides look amazing. The car's in great shape. You can't expect perfect. And right here, I like I knew, that'd be a little bit more distinct. And you can see it's a little faded more on the trunk. It's in great shape. It looks great. I'm pretty sure it's original paint, man. This is an amazing car. 
Well, that's your once around. Big old car. A couple chips in this side. And I'm not gonna do nothing to it. Not even that ding, man. I ain't gonna touch it up. I ain't gonna do nothing. It could have been painted, man. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look closer. It's been years since I looked at this car. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. And that is the, from start to finish, wheel wells, wheels under the hood, clay bar, wa washing, clay barring, and buffing first stage and second stage. Um, the only thing left to do on this car is when we're completely done detailing it, give it a little bit of a hand wax to where, you know, it's all beautiful and done. Um, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Check out my websites, lots of unique cars on there. Um, beaglespocket.com for beagles. And I'm gonna do a couple of these. In fact, that um, blue Benz is coming up next. I did a maroon one. In fact, I'll click a link somewhere in here to where you can see it. Um, lots of unique cars on my site um, and lots of unique videos coming up. And I have been completely swamped. I've been trying to get more stuff up on the free car contest. It's a oh, April, I was gonna say, August 26th. And um, a lot of stuff going on here. And I'm actually moving everything. I'll be out of my one of my lots, actually two places there at that big place here by the end of the month. So I'll really be uploading some videos. I gotta catch up. I gotta catch a breather here is what I gotta do. Um, that's all I know. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love talking on here. And I love me this Centurion. And that's coming up. So, one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. Look at that beautiful paint, man. Just as beautiful as it can be. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. We'll talk to you.